Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my dark knights. This is the Bat Brand. Welcome back to the Pokemon Red ra randomized Nuzlocke. This is the Bat Brand, as you guys have heard. Um, and I believe this is part... I gotta think here. Is this part tw 14? No. Last was part 12. This is part 13. And today, you may be wondering, why are we next to this bird? Well, off screen, I grinded up uh, and got to the Seafoam Islands and did the puzzle. And we're going to both get our encounter here, plus the, the static Articuno. So, we're going to start off first with uh, this team recap. Starting off is Prison Mike, the wheezing, pure poison type. He will scare you straight! And um, with Tackle, Smog, Sludge, and Dizzy Punch. Next, we got... Oh. Well, whoops. Okay. Next, we got our starter at level 38, Clint the Tauros, the pure normal type with Strength, Water Gun, Stomp, and Earthquake. And next, we have my... Boy, Kura Kurama, Kurama, uh, level whatever you want to heck you want to call him at level 38, the pure fire type nine tails with dig, pin missile, quick attack, and roar. Next, we got one of my favorites on the team as well. It's time to play, it's all about the game and how you play it. It's Triple H himself, ladies and gentlemen. Hunter Hemsley, the third, is here. Uh, or Hunter, whatever the freaking heck his name is, pure water type Kingler with Surf, Cut, Vice Grip, and Guillotine. Next is Ivy, uh, level 38, the Venusaur, pure, or not pure, Grass and Poison type with Leech Seed, Vine Whip, Poison Powder, and Razor Leaf. Um, and last but not least, our final Mon is Shao Kahn. Uh, level 38, the pure normal type with Hyper Beam, Jump Kick, Hyper Fang, and Seismic Toss. Now, what we're going to do first is I'm going to get our encounter for this place here. And then we are going to get our Articuno encounter. So what's our encounter going to be for the Seafoam Islands? I can re-encounter. Or I could get bring Blue Sweater back. I don't think I want to. So I'm going to run. Okay, let's see what else we can get in here. Maybe we can get something else. And then when I'm done, I can basically just dig out. Are we only going to find executors in here? We should find more than just executors. Maybe if I surf in the water. All right, let's go surfing. Everybody was surfing. Surfing USA. By the way, I uh, hope you guys are having an excellent Monday. Let me just say, I hope you had a great weekend. Mine was not, was okay, but um, last night was... I'm extremely exhausted, let me just say now. So if I have a little weird, odd commentary, that is why. <clears throat> um, because I kind of, um, I felt, I got a little bit of a bug. Uh, was in and out of the bathroom constantly. And, um, but now at this point I'm just, we ooh. I do believe I have never owned a dugong. In this game yet. So we're going to go for. And I have no. Oh, I'm going to go for sludge. This shouldn't kill. <clears throat> that is a good backup mod. In case something happens. To triple H. Tackle again. And I have tons of balls too. So I'm prepared for this. I'm not using the Master Ball. Just in case it is something very, very good, I want to use that Master Ball. 
for this Articuno. Because I'm going to get another Master Ball at Sylphco, and then we will go get the Zabdos encounter. <clears throat> but the goal today is we're going to go to Saffron. Um, we're going to go get um, the static level 25 or level 30 fighting type. Um, uh, randomized Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. Um... So yeah, and we got the dugong, so that's good. What to name a dugong? <clears throat> well, all right. <clears throat> I don't know what to name this thing. Um, just trying to think of what I could call it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna actually name this after. One of my friend's wife's chin. So we got her right now. So we're going to get this randomized Articuno. What's it going to be? That is... Articuno? Did it really get randomized to an Articuno? The Articuno got randomized to an Articuno. What? I did not see that coming. I literally have nothing I can do to this thing, though. Oh, yeah, I could. It's ice. Ugh, ice beam. Oh, this is not a good idea. Stop! I'm gonna. I'm just gonna catch it. I'm just gonna catch it. I'm wasting the master ball. I know, but we're gonna get another one. In the future. And I'm wait I'm using it. I'm not wasting it. I'm using it in Ornacuno. Yes, we just lost just lost Shao Kahn. Are you kidding me? Um definitely gonna nickname this thing something amazing. I'm trying to think of freeze something. Oh, we're calling you fra fra. No, we're calling you Lord Frieza. No, we gotta call you Frost. Alright. Time to get us out of here. Karama, dig us out of here. Oh, and it takes us right back to the Pokemon Center. Yes, I mean... We lost Shao Kahn, yes, but we just basically got Articuno, an Articuno out of this. So, that's a good trade-off. I mean, a level 50 for a level 38, I'll take it. But Kangaskhan would have been really good for the long run. Unfortunately, uh, he is dead, but it is what it is. Now, did I need you for anything? No. Okay, and I'm definitely withdrawing Frost. Frost, welcome to the team, my boy. Okay, and I'm definitely teaching you Fly. And we can go right to Saffron now. What does this thing know? Let's check Frost stats. Oh my god, very well balanced. Peck, Ice Beam, and Fly. So the thing only knew Peck and Ice Beam? Wow. Alright. So we're going to go to Saffron. <clears throat> 
We're going to go take down... Let me get my bicycle. I want to go on my bicycle. Where is my bicycle? There it is. And we're going to go straight up to... This fighting dojo. Get our static... Hitmon Chan and or Hitmon Lee. So, and then we're going to go into Silphco. So, yeah, like I'll take an Articuno. But what were the what were the odds? I mean, there are, is only 5 legendaries in Pokémon. Good thing I healed. Oh, X attack. That's not scary. On a Zabdos, no less. And we get the poison. Let's go, Prison Mike. Thundershock. Oh, crap. That's Stab Electric type. <laughs> oh, my lord. It did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. Now, Dizzy Punch. Now, Drill Peck's going to do some damage. And goodbye. Dude, this guy came out with some power. A Magnemite? I'll stay in. I'm going to go with Sludge again. Because you are not a Steel type just yet. And the Poison again. Let's go, Prison Mike. He has done nothing but produce. Let me just say that right now. I mean, in rest in peace, Shao Kahn, but I, it doesn't hurt me as much because I got the Articuno, though. I'm definitely switching out for that, though. Triple Eight should be able to take care of a Nine Tails. <clears throat> and I'm kind of glad that I'm going into the Self Co first, because um, I'm going to need to train up, because I think. And I'm kind of glad I went to go get the Articuno because level 50 is going to be needed. Because um, I'm remembering correctly, she's going to have around a level 50. I'm almost guarantee Sabrina has around a level 50. Or is it... I, I don't really remember red and blue stats. Like, like, not stats, like levels. But I'm almost pretty sure she has a high... Leveled Alakazam. But it is randomized, so she isn't going to have that Alakazam. Magmar. Bruh. Watch this. How much damage is that going to... Oh, Prison Mike! He... Oh, okay. I definitely need to heal up after this match, though. Which I got plenty of potions... I can do it right right here. And a B drill. I can switch for that. That's poison bug. Oh, Clint can kill that one shot with an earthquake. Prepare to say goodbye, B drill. Even though you were really good as Bumblebutt in my Pokemon Emerald live randomized. That's like, which that's going to be coming again to, uh, not tomorrow. I was thinking about doing it tonight, but I th oh, on this Monday night, but I think I'm going to go to Pokemon S S Showdown and I'm going to bring that back. Um, it's been a while. And if you guys want to face me on that, all you have to do is go on to the site and face me there um, and look up my name and whatnot. But. It's really not that difficult. It's very fun to do as well. Okay, Performer wants to fight. You sent out a Tangela. Okay, Prison Mike should one-shot this thing. Considering... Are you part Poison? No, you're definitely not. You're just super defensive. All right. Still got the we still got the kill though. 
And Prison Mike is on par with everyone else on this team now. All right, then this guy, and then the Karate Master, or the Karate King, or whatever the heck he calls himself, and then we get our choice of a static. Okay, Cloister. Now, do I want to send Prison Mike out against this? I don't... Dizzy Punch. Let's see how much Dizzy Punch does first. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What about Sludge? Decent amount of damage, but we also get the poison off. I'm a little worried about a uh, freeze. But I don't think I'm really... You keep going for that Aurora Beam. Stop it. I'm going to just go for the Tackle. Goodbye, Cloister. <clears throat> now he's coming in Graveler. I'll switch out. I could send in Ivy. I could. But if this thing self-destructs, I really don't want to lose Ivy. And Triple H has high defense. So I'm going to go with Triple H here. And this is four times effective. Doesn't stand a chance. <clears throat> and a Tangela. I don't know if I want to send out Prison Mike for that, but... I'm going to send out the new member of the team, Frost. We're going to use Ice Beam. Goodbye, Tangela. Let's go, Articuno. And we're going to possibly get a Zabdos, too. If we can get Zabdos, Moltres, and Articuno, let's go. Grunt. Yep, Karate Master. See? I I know my stuff. After this, we'll definitely need to heal up. Definitely. So what are you going to have? Two Mons. A Parasect. Hmm. I'm going to go for Sludge, which should be super effective. All right. And we get the poison. You use an X attack. Why? My question. Why? When you know I'm going to kill you. Now what are you going to do? Weedle? A Weedle. <clears throat> Is this even worse? Clint's time. I mean, it's a level 37 Weedle. I guess I'm just going to stomp it. This should one shot. <laughs> that crit didn't even need to be done. That was just overkill, Clint. Holy crap. Indeed, I have lost. Oh, good. Ooh, Magneton. That's not bad. That is a electric type. Or a Venomoth. I gotta go... I, I gotta go with the Magneton. Got him. I do want to nickname this Magneton. I think what we're gonna name it... Thinking, like... Something to do with steel. Um, uh, fusions with steel. I... I don't know. I mean, I've never used a Magneton before, so I don't know. I think we're going to name this thing after another one of my... I'm going to name this thing after my dear brother, Derek. Okay, good. He was sent right to the PC. So we're going to go 
back to that Pokemon Center and find out what... I think he's just a level 25 or level 30, but he's not a very high level Mon, if I'm thinking correctly. But we should... We did come here to at least heal up anyway, so might as well do that. <clears throat> I'm hoping, too, at the end of this... Um, by the time we're done with Silph Code, at least have level 40s across the board. I think that'll be excellent. Okay, let's see... I do have to deposit a Pokemon first. Um, just for a second, Ivy. Oh, level 30! No way! So, Tackle, Sonic, Boom, Thundershock, and Super Sonic. I gotta check out Jen as well. Headbutt, Growl, and Aurora Beam. Who is Venom? Ah, yes, the Parasect. Grump, is Grump alive? Grump is alive. Elite is dead. Fry is dead. Shocker is dead. Lynx is dead. Oof is not dead. Heather's dead. Meta Knight is not dead either. Butta is not dead. Blue Sweater is Vespi. Vespi is definitely not dead. Sylvester is dead. Ray J is not dead. Buttlicker is not dead. And where is Shao Kahn is dead. But Ivy is not. Okay. All right. Only 23 minutes in and we got so much stuff done already. Let's go to Silphco. Let's go. I know exactly what floor to go on, but we're going to go floor by floor, knocking these time rocket grunts out. Because I know floor seven or floor nine or one of the two floors. Ah, uh, yes. My favorite music in the whole. Uh, blue uh, or Pokemon Red and Blue version. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's battle some Team Rocket grunts. Um, while we're in here, I want to pose the question of the day to you guys. Um, Halloween is literally on Wednesday. I want to know what your favorite horror movie is. I think I discussed this, actually. Um, who who do you think is the scariest... Let, let me paraphrase that. Who do you think is the scariest character that you've ever seen on either a TV show or a cartoon or an anime series? TV show? Um... I remember I was always scared of, um, I forget what it was, The Mummy. I was always scared of The Mummy movie when I was younger. Don't ask me why, I have no clue. Um, what was it? The m I was always scared of The Mummy movie and I was always, what else was I scared of? I'm not really... Nothing else is really ringing a bell, but... Like... Cartoon? Um... The one character that creeped me out in a cartoon. Um... Smokescreen? I don't think I want Prison Mike to learn Smokescreen. Smokescreen? <laughs> But probably the scariest 
thing I've ever seen. Like a non horror movie character that you were always like is the scariest to you, basically. Like I was always scared of the of like the mummy, as I said, the walking dead, uh that stuff, like but the one thing that really creased me out was I mean I I mean technically it's a horror. You know what? Change that. Scratch that. What is your favorite uh horror game to play? Um uh di- or non game uh, one game that always scared you or non or a non horror game that always scared you. Um I'll be honest. Batman Arkham Asylum terrified me, especially the part when you had to go in uh to <laughs> this is this is really dumb, but when you had to go into uh the uh, the thing uh, you had to go in a cross layer um the scarecrow missions always scared me. Um, so yeah, I was a bit of a wussy when I played those games. I, I'm not so much now, but um, as you guys know, I did play the, I did play the uh, remakes. I did play Return to Arkham, um, and I wasn't scared this time. But I remember I had to mute my mic. I'm not my mic, but I had to mute. Um, the sounds um, on my TV or whatever, so I couldn't hear it, if that makes sense. Um, so I couldn't hear him, if, if that makes sense to all of you. Good part is we do have a level 40 now, and everyone else just needs to step up their game now, so... Oh, all these teleporting pads. That's right. Gotta be wary of those. Okay, I'm gonna battle each grunt floor by floor until we get to uh, whichever route that has the card key. Um, I need to try and, and then we'll start opening up doors. Because I want that all-important experience for all of the team right now. Because this fight against Giovanni coming up was always tough for me as a kid. Um, I remember playing it. Do I want to switch out right now? Prison Mike is doing amazing. I don't, I don't really think I want to. And also, too, um, uh, Evolution was yesterday as well. First ever WWE All-Women's Pay-Per-View. I want to know what were your thoughts on it. What was your favorite match? Um, if you had a favorite moment in it. My favorite match by far was... The Battle Royale was pretty cool. But my favorite match was Charlotte versus Becky Lynch. Last, last woman standing match. That fight was brutal. That fight was... And I, that was the main event to me. More so than... Uh, Nikki Bella versus Ronda Rousey. Which, no offense to Ronda Rousey. And, and, but, they were building up, building up the main event to be this Alexa Bliss versus Trish Stratus matchup, and Ronda Rousey injures her. Ronda really needs to get a handle on controlling herself. In because that's the fourth or fifth superstar she's injured of recent. Like she's hurt Nia Jack. She's hurt um, uh, who else? She's hurt Alexa Bliss twice. Um, she's hurt. Who's the other one she hurt? I'm trying to think of who else she hurt. Um, she hurt Sasha once. So, she's hurt four superstars so far. Um, 
and that's ridiculous for Ronda Rousey's part. Um, she needs to learn to control herself in the ring, um, sh and she'll get better at that, but she has a lot of work to do, and then I think they pushed that title on her. They She probably shouldn't have had that title that early on. I will be completely honest. They they should not have done that. Very poor move on WWE's part. But, hey, you, uh, there's nothing really we can do about it right now. They give the title to whoever they want. It, it's the WWE. They do whatever they want. Um, the one thing that really got to me and got under my, got under my skin, okay, was the fact that they... This, this was the first ever women's pay-per-view, and you put it in Long Island? That's bull. That is terrible. Um, and to me, that's an insult. Th this women's pay-per-view... I mean, it looked like an NXT event, almost. But... I, I, I think they should do another all-women's pay-per-view in the future. It would be very interesting to watch. And to not just make it, um, make the Battle Royale. Make it just for people in that were old and gone away and, and, and now and today. But also make it for the NXT women as well. And if they win it, they can get a uh, uh, title shot on the NXT title, and also on the um, on the title for the WWE. So, really, that would be a heck of a thing to watch too. I would love that. But <clears throat> Karam almost died, by the way, while I was talking. <laughs> Probably not the best idea right now that I should be doing right now. Let me see. Let's bring in Prison Mike. He's been doing nothing but the finest of work right now. Anyway, so I might as well just keep going with him. All right, Prison Mike, let's go. All right, we got another poison, so... Low kick... I uh, hurt him with the poison, and goodbye, prison, or not prison, Mike, goodbye, my champ. Are we going to get another level 40? Or not? We should get one at the end of this battle, I think. Now, do we want to leave him out there? No, we got Ivy. Ivy super effective against water types. Please forgot that. This thing has been a godsend, by the way. If I can get a, a re like, I can get a Charizard. Game over, man. <laughs> I'm just curious if, and we got a lot of encounters, especially in the power plant that we're gonna get later, after we get this other Master Ball. But I honestly think that that. I should definitely... I, I, I'm curious what that... That... Uh, static Zabdos is going to be too. Or not the Static Zabdos. The Randomized Zabdos is going to be. Is it going to... Does it just stick to the Zabdos? Because they didn't... The person who made this ROM didn't randomize it? I... I don't know. That is a Gyarados. Um, I know you have... I know you have Dragon Rage. But you don't use it. That's fine. That's fine. Because I don't want you... Because I wanted you to go for Bite. Because now I can kill you easily. Level 40. We got two level 40s now. Now, who... A Zubat. A Zubat. Really? Clint, get out of here. Or not Clint. Um, Triple H, get out of here. It's time to play the game. Actually, it's all about the game. 
It is all about the game and how you play it. Wow, let's go Triple H. And a Nidoran girl, I think, right? And goodbye, Nidoran girl. How much is this going to do? Oh, I thought it would kill, but I'll take it. Still a lot of damage. And goodbye, Nidoran girl. And winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to put Triple H in the front. I'm going to heal up Karama. How long have we been recording for? 36 minutes. That's not too bad. See what else we can find in here. Is there an item in here? I don't think there is, but there is another grunt. So we're going to battle him and then go to the next floor. Wigglytuff. A Wigglytuff should not be a problem. I'm going to go for Surf. We'll see how much a Surf does. Okay. I forget. Are you more of a special tank or a physical tank? Physical tank. Definitely physical tank. All right. Goodbye, Wigglytuff. Level 39. All right. We may get another level 40 by the end of this episode. Or not. Ivy's going to come in now. But take care of this, Golduck. Should be an easy kill. One Razor Leaf and it should be dead. I got to say, this team that I have put together in this, amazing so far. Um, we could potentially get another uh, legendary as well, so <laughs> it's only gonna it's only gonna go up from here, guys. It it truly is. But oh, and also, um, I had a bit of a situation over the week, um, not week, just recently last night, um, where I was sitting on this couch where I normally record videos and to relax and stuff. And um, there was this slam behind me. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I'm, like, freaking out. I turn around, and it was actually um, my uh, the, the steel Batman thing you see up there. Um, yeah, I have that up. Um, I hang that up on my wall with sticky tack. And I guess the sticky tack just let go or it just just randomly stops ticking um but i fixed the problem and everything's fine now but it was just so weird and i didn't know like w what was happening and i guess it happened a lot like while i was sleeping the night before and i didn't even hear it and i was like okay <laughs> i think this is where the card key is. I think that'll be a good place to stop then. We could get the card key and then just end it there. And then the next one, you know, Battle Giovanni. Oh, Graveler, how's it going? Goodbye, Graveler. Because, you know, oh, actually... No, we're going to have to battle our rival as well. So um, I think what I'll do is I will um, get the card key in this episode. And then next time we will battle our rival. We will battle Vespi. Um, and then we will uh, battle Giovanni. And then... Yeah, and then probably... After that, battle Sabrina. Battle Sabrina in her gym. Okay, is this going to kill Evie? No, but it came pretty darn close. I got to say, Triple H's attack is so high, that's why it's hitting so hard. 
Okay, coughing. I'm not worried about a coughing. I'm just going to use the surf, kill it, and then we're at 41 minutes, which I think with the pauses and the edits, it should be around 38 I'm or 39. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I think this is where we will get the card key. Yes, this is definitely where we'll get the card key. So we will battle this guy, go get the card key, and then we will wrap up. All right, and he only has one Mon, a Jigglypuff. A Jigglypuff. Buddy, you ain't even worth my time. Buh bye bye Oh, get out of here with that baloney. You're dead now anyway, so whatever. All right. All right, let's go get the card key back in this corridor. Here it is. All right, so that is going to be all the time I have for this one. In the next one, we will battle our rival. We will take Dom team or Giovanni and Team Rocket once and for all and take on the sixth gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that little like button down there below. Comment also if you want named after a Pokemon in the future. Or subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Bat Brand, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome, my Dark Knights.